Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is Jonas Reports for the 23rd. And while we start this uh, next to last week uh, of July going into, well, really still soft greetings. Uh, we had the rising shakeout that had finally peaked out. We'd already been in a DOC spread, but we hadn't had the corresponding uh, beginnings of a fade in the shakeout. We do have rising gold, which we were already at the highs when it started, and so no real change from there. That becomes less relevant. Now we have the Morganacci lows rising, and usually that draws price down at least to the 50% range. Um, the question becomes usually how quickly that rises to meet where current price is, and in this particular case, price has held up very well uh, given the weakness in those readings. Um, it's clearly shown that there's been enough distribution that we should have seen a little bit more decay. It just shows that uh, the activity of shorts is not having an impact overall. Um, and particularly above the ABM, and this makes it very easy because the ABM becomes your marker. And we've been testing it a couple of times. 95 is where it's at. Uh, we've dipped down as low as 92 here in the um, early action, but right back up uh, before the market opens. And again, you know, the 76 is the uh, next viable option right at the 83 range. So there's a good range if you break below that ABM that um, you still have pretty good potential for, you know, eight or ten, but there really hasn't been a whole lot of movement uh, negative-wise, uh, despite the fact that, you know, you hear all these rumblings and that the economy is still moving along, things are going well, we've got a really strange situation with interest rates uh, as far as treasuries go, which is going to get worked out, um, just a matter of time. Uh, here you can see the NQ filling back in, just some of the exuberance that goes through is the normal ebb and flow, particularly within soft signals. So we're not uh, worked up in any way. The euro is still doing excellent as far as uh, where its value is. I know a lot of people think that the dollar has been super strong. Not really. I mean, we were at 106. Uh, uh, this is a far cry from that distance. And the reality is this pump really helps uh, earnings. And it also makes it a little more expensive to buy European. This is that trade-off uh, between the tariffs and that kind of situation. It, uh, this is exactly why you hear about China devaluing its currencies and that it makes an impact. So here we can see TLT finally suffering a little bit more of that. It's been in a weakness. Uh, well, geez, started right over there with that uh, orange above 13.5. Held up for a few days. And this is what we see a lot happens when it comes to weak signals. Um, They'll hold on for a while because everyone buys a little bit of the dip and then there reaches a, a threshold where it's like, uh, nope, it's just a little too much, and then boom. And it's where uh, the other APMs really come in handy because once you're below the green, there's no reason to be in long planes. That's all you look for is that uh, transition. Um, so oil still artificially, uh, well, and you can say artificially high. It's high because obviously there are some constrictions in the uh, the pipeline setup as it is, and until those are worked out, um, probably going to maintain these elevated areas. Uh, it certainly is a win for um, all the OPEC countries as well as even uh, U.S. producers. It's making them a ton of money for a product that was worth a lot less just a few months back. Uh, it's amazing how that is, and of course gold has been in a serious, uh, serious downturn here for quite some time. We see an improved shakeout from lower lows and um, not as good an extreme as you might necessarily want. And we still don't have a full buy yet without the uh, orange dipping below green, red. And fine, if this crosses, you'll end up with an improvement, but it's still a long way. Just to get back to the negative 13.5 for the red DOC, that is not helpful. Not healthy at all. And here we're looking at the 5K. If we go back uh, to Friday's action, pretty straightforward. You know, it's a more rare one that you see. It's a nice, uh, well, in this case, triple bottom, but it was really a compressed double bottom. Began a little uh, fake fade there, but uh, it was on continually rising shakeout peaks here, as well as DOC. And then you had the dip of the below the red line and then above. Now, what was interesting about that is that you expect that uh, dip below the red line to have to get revisited, which was at uh, 2798 range. And that doesn't happen until, well, here in pre market. Amazing how that fills right in. Got to the 50% with gold. We went to the highs. 
in shock with that. Got to the highs though. Started to put in our series of dots going right at the peak. DOC spread with uh, orange developing above 13.5. And again, see, I like it from the beginning of the uh, the spider right here, which is the orange crossing above, steel crossing below, um, right at those peaks. And they tend to produce nice little short bursts. This particular case held up at the ABM green uh, for quite some time and then made a second run only to then break down to the 50 and then it just traded across. Uh, it's been pretty erratic as far as uh, 5K is now showing up as uh, erratic on a uh, longer term chart, but yeah, that happens. Um, in this particular case, we're below the 23% from the moment of uh, the early morning trade. And we've pretty much stayed in a uh, negative zone here. We haven't even reached the 50%. Um, and we did fill in that to below the red line. So all in all, good there. And uh, I think that it's just uh, clean trades, uh, both long and to the short side. It's just a matter of uh, they're not um, runaways in the sense of uh, this was probably the nicest uh, short run. Uh, which was straight down. A lot of it has been choppy back and forth. So depending on the range that you're playing for, um, there's certainly been uh, some decent uh, point winners uh, following the trend moves, um, but also just back and forth because there's just a lot of action intra-bar uh, in general. So it uh, provides flexibility both ways. Um, but I would still think that we're, as long as we're in this uh, weakness category, um, you just have to be a little more defensive when you're thinking to the long side uh, would not uh, be too broad with the stops. Uh, and on the short side, you've got the potential that things could run, but you've got to wait for the breakdowns in this particular case of the daily ABM as a key. And um, once that happens, though, you've got a decent range. Uh, well, even like from where we're at here all the way down into the about 83 range, um, it's pretty pretty significant uh, amount of point run. So keep that in mind as you're trading today. And as always, if uh, they're relevant charts, I'll put them up. As always, trade well.